Hi everyone. So this is a sum which I need to draw in uh, orthographic as well as a section orthographic. So first I will explain you orthographic and then we'll do section orthographic. Now, when you see from here, how much is the length? 20, 60, 20. Length is 100. So I'll write length is 100. Height is 15, 15, 20. Height is 50. And width is 20, 20, 24. Width is 64. So first we will draw layout and we'll start with first angle. What I'll do, I'll keep this sum also over here. So we can refer. Next. So you come to know how I'm working. On right. Yeah, I think yeah, all of you can see this. Now, first we will draw the out. So I need to draw length, width, and height. So length is how much? 100. So I will and see we have to draw left hand side. It should come on right hand side. We are doing first angle. So I will draw length. I'll take 100. Height is 50. And when I'm doing this, I'll extend this also. That's a little bit easier. Height is 50. Okay, I'll leave 20 between front view and top view, and then width is 64. So it comes up in here. This is 64. And from here, you draw 45 degree. Then you extend from here. Extend from here. And from here, you go up. So, what we are doing? We are doing, but we are done with layout. First angle method. Front view. If you want me to write, I'll write front view. Left hand side view and top view. Length, width, and height, you know. It is length is 100, height is 50, width is 64. So, length I took 100, height I took this 50, and width is 64. Now I have to draw front. So, when I'll, when I'll see in front, when I see from here, I will see this part, this C shape, and this rectangle. Right? So, how much is this? 20. So I can mark 20. Initially, I'm drawing it light because we are going to do section also. This height is 15, then it'll be 20, then again 15. This goes inside by 10. See why I'm drawing like this? Because here also I have to mark 10. 10, 10 on both the sides. See when it is not given. If you see this sum, this is 20. And this is not given. So we'll assume it that this is 10. It's equal on both the sides. That way we can assume. Now this is 20. Uh, 10 inside. So I will take 10 from here. I'll take 10 from here. Here also, I need to take 10. So this way, see this, this part, C part, one is straight and one is inverted. Okay, I'm doing it down. If not, I will do it. It's better I should draw light. This part will go in section, so that's why I'm just being careful. I'm drawing it light. So, exam whenever you are also doing, just make sure you don't draw it dark initially, otherwise, it can be a problem when you want to That's why now this is diameter 40. So, we have 50, so we'll take 5 from up, 5 from down. So, 
forget this. So we are done with front scissors. So this is front view. Uh, now we'll see dotted. This part you can't see. So that part will be dotted. See this part. This part you can't see. Huh? When you see from here, you can't see this dotted line. The edge which you can't see, so that we need to draw out it. Same on the other side. So when I'm drawing it, this will be dotted. So it will. So we are done with front. Now I need to draw top of a top view. I need to project this down. See, that's why it's called orthographic projection because what we are doing, half of the things, we will get it like this. I don't have to take dimension again. So that's the beauty of this. Now again, we'll take this 20. 20. See, when I'm doing it here, I'll do it on the other side also because I know it is on both the sides. So that's how you can increase your speed. And this you'll get it when you do practice. You can easily improve on this. Now, this part is dark. Now, this circular portion again, diameter 40. Okay. Now, this is diameter 40. So, I will take what I'll take this is 64. So, midpoint is 32. And I'll take 20, 20 on both the sides. Say in earlier case, it was 50. So center point and 20, 20. So five, five on both the sides. So that's how I did it. Here I can't do because width is not 50, width is 64. You can do, but why you want to do unnecessary calculation? So that's why I avoided. So we are done with top. Three. Got it? Now I need to draw side view. The side view when I see, no, one sec, we need to draw dotted. This part, which you can't see, when you see from the top, you can't see this part. So that will come dotted. Okay. This way. Now we'll see side view. Now when you see from the side, what do you see? You see this one, two, three, four rectangle, and this circle will appear dotted. So I'll project. And the entire part is down. Right. We don't have to do sectional side views. We can draw this down. I can use pen also. One of the reasons I use pen so it is visible. Because at times people have complained that they can't see diagram very clearly. So that's why I use pen. I hope you produce pencil for your drawing work. Uh, okay. So this is how it will be in side dark portion. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and this plus. Now we need to draw circle. What I will do, I will take 50, half of that. Okay. In front of the 64. So I'll take 32. So wherever you have circle, you will draw dot again, right? So here we draw dot. Uh, uh, 
now to take radius 20. This will be dot. This is side view. Got it? Front view, top view, and side. So this is first angle. I'll write here. First angle. Where you're done front view, top view, and left hand side. Let's say if I want to draw it in third angle, then I have to draw ditto same. Uh, but the placing will be different. So that I'll do it afterwards. Right? Now what we will do now will uh, Draw sectional front views. Here the cutting plane is given like this. This is how it is being cut. Sectional front view along AA. Like this. When you cut like this. So how it will appear. So when it is cut like this, when it divides into two parts, I'll draw this is a a This is our top view. You see, this entire thing will be done. I'm just drawing it again. So I'm just darkening it. So it will be easier for you people to see. Uh, and this. I might as well do it with proper line. Otherwise. Section front view along A. Okay, this is how the section plane will look like. Now we have to do section front view along A. So what will happen? This portion will go away. When you do section, what will happen? This front portion will go away. So this is how it will look. Right. It will be this way, and you are also the same. This way. Too. So this portion will get hatched. This won't get hatched because it is behind. So, and this also won't get hatched. So when you're doing this, this line will become that. See this. Both the sides, this line will become that. And section will come here. I can draw section, wait. Uh, 
that's why I was not doing this line down. Earlier, if you have seen in my video, I was pull it down. So, exam, you have to be careful with the line work. Now we have to draw hatching. This is now sectional front. You draw a line and I have done the marking. So then it becomes easier for me to do the hatching part. You can refer to that video where I have done the hatching lines with the 45 degree mark. See this. So this is sectional front view of this sum. When you cut like this, this is how it will appear. This is top view and this is left hand side view. So I hope this is clear. Now one small doubt. The same student have asked me to do the same sum in third angle. So I will be drawing it all over again. What I'm explaining you. Front view will come down. Top view will come here, side view will come here. So in front view, you draw this way. See this. In top view, yeah, dotted lines are remaining paid out that. This is top view. This is dotted. This is top view. This is front view. We are doing in third angle. So in third angle, it will be like the same way. Length 100, height 50, width 64. Width will go up. Right? And in side view, you'll have dotted circle. I'm sorry, it is rough. So please excuse me for that. And You'll have four rectangles like this. Like this. How we got this? Yeah. One, two, three, and four. This is how you'll have side view. Left hand side. So this is first angle. And this is third angle. Same thing. Only thing this is fair, this is rough. So I hope. You have understood. So I have done orthographic as well as section orthographic of the sub. Thank you.